Hey everyone, today I'm bringing you a haul video. I love watching haul videos. I know you guys like watching haul videos too because I always get requests for them. But today I'm going to show you some stuff from Ulta and from Target. These are collective things over the last bit of time, basically since the last time I did a haul, which I think was in May. So there is some summer stuff in this haul. I've used some of it. I'll give you like the tiniest, briefest mini review on those things if I have. But a couple summer things that I bought, I actually didn't use yet, so I'm really sad. So first I'm going to start off with everything that I got at Ulta. So the first things that I picked up at Ulta are some dry shampoo. If you have seen my empties video or also my dry shampoo review, you probably are aware I'll go ahead and link both of those below in case you want to see them but you're probably aware that I'm a little a lot obsessed with dry shampoo so I just went ahead and stocked up on some of the Batiste and I like this brand because it is you know a little more pricey than drugstore maybe but it smells amazing. I have not tried this sassy and daring wild dry shampoo. What a name. But I've heard that this one smells really good. The second one that I picked up was the Floral and Flirty Blush. And I have not tried this one either. So I'm excited to try these. I really love the Paisley scent from them. However, I'm all about trying new things. And I like trying new scents and trying out new products. So I just thought I would mix it up a little bit this time. Now this is definitely a summer product that I picked up. It is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I've used this a couple times. There was a video I did maybe a month or more ago and I used this sea salt. I put in foam rollers, basically my hair, really tight ones, and I got this like crazy curly like tight curls today. I know my hair is curly but it's more loose curls. This was really tight and it was really big and I got some compliments on that. I'm trying to perfect that method but I might go ahead and do a tutorial on that. So one last summer product here from Ulta. I did pick up the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs and this is in the color medium. I have not tried this yet and you don't have to use this in the summer only. It is kind of like makeup for your legs. I've heard a lot of people describe it as your legs but better. Again, I haven't tried it yet. I am planning on trying this sometime soon. I just need to do it. I keep forgetting it's such a little package that I got. I got like the smallest size they had. I also picked up a makeup sponge from Ulta and I don't remember what it's called and I took it out of the package. However, if you see something that looks like this at Ulta, it's the same thing. It works just like any other sponge. I don't see a big difference between an off-brand and beauty blenders. I know some people do. I've been using this. I used it today, which is why it's dirty. I've been really liking it. Anytime I see a sponge and I have a coupon or a discount or something, I just go ahead and pick them up because it's something that you're going to use all the time if you like to do makeup. And the last thing that I picked up at Ulta is this Chocomania Body Butter from the body shop. It smells intensely amazing. I believe this is limited edition. I've used it a little bit, but I'm trying to get through other lotions that I have first. And I'm a little worried because it's pretty convincing and I don't want this to give me like cravings. I'm on a diet. I'm trying not to give cravings for chocolate and unhealthy food. But I love these body butters from the body shop, so it's totally worth it. Okay, moving on to Target. The first thing that I picked up was this Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. It is from L'Oreal. I've been wanting to try this. I've been seeing the ads, and there was some sort of deal if you get to, so, or something, some sort of sale or something. So I bought two of these. I've actually used the other one it's somewhere in this room. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing it for the first day. I'm not really going to talk about it yet because I think I'm going to do a full review on it in the future. If you want to see a full review on this, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do a full review after I've used the product for a couple of weeks. Today was the first day I used it. So the first two nail products I'm going to show might look a little familiar. I'm also, I bought extra to put in my giveaway that I'm doing with Nail Art Essentials. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go ahead, check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I'm doing this whole Nail Art Essentials giveaway. When I picked them up for you guys, I actually needed some stripers in the same colors. So these are the Sally Hansen I Heart Nail Art Stripers. The first color that I picked up is in hot pink, 
and the second color is in purple. You might also recognize this from the giveaway. So another thing that I bought for you guys and for myself is the Sally Hansen Color Frenzy Texturize Nail Color, and it is in the color Paint Party. I also picked up the red, white, and hue. All right, so we're getting to the last things in this haul. The last things that I picked up from Target are a bunch of these Sally Hansen Color Foil Nail Polishes. If you do nail stamping, you might already know why I picked these up. So chrome nail polishes and these foil nail polishes work really well with stamping. It just shows up really well, especially against a black background. It looks so cool. So the colors I picked up are purple alloy and it's just basically a purple chrome. These are all chrome, they're just different colors. Leaden lilac, so it is a blue chrome. The next one is Minted Metal, and that's a green chrome. And then last but not least is Rose Copper, and it is a pink chrome. So that is everything in the haul. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the like button so that I know to do more haul videos in the future. Other than that, I hope you're having a really great day, and I will see you next time.